All right, well, you're not, <laughs> you, you're, you're going to love this, right? With the real estate market, you know, it's heating up. If you're looking to sell your home, it's in the details that really count. So I want you to take a look at this right here. What do you see? A beautiful wall with those ugly electrical outlet face plates standing out like a sore thumb, right? All right, well, you can make them look like this. I know. They're beautifully blended, hardly noticeable. Well, this is the guy right here, Willie Bryant. He's going to show us how to do them. But I just have to say, he just doesn't paint face plates. You are an artist. You're a, a faux finisher. I mean, you really are. I mean, you and Randy have known each other for a long time. Right, artists, right. artists tend to know each other. And you just said you're getting some of your stuff in a gallery. Right. I was in uh, Scottsdale the other day, and I happened to walk into a gallery. And I was just talking about artwork, buying artwork, because I said, well, a lot of people wonder why I'd want to buy artwork when I can do it, but I don't need my artwork on my walls. I like other people's artwork. <laughs> and he asked me what kind of stuff I did. I go, well, it's not like this. I do more contemporary. So. Well, here's the thing. We're going to talk about um, your artwork um, <clears throat> later, but I, wanna, I want you to kind of give I, people an idea, and we've got to kind of go through this okay. fairly quickly. So this is obviously just to kind of get you through the step-by-step -step process. Right. So. Well, like she said, we go in the houses and we see people spend tens of thousands of dollars on their backsplashes, on tile, glass, stone. And so the main thing is you got to get them primed. So this is a, a bonding primer. You spray your outlets with that. If you don't, you, people go in the houses and somebody had painted years ago and it, the day it's later it's scratching. Right off, right. So you got to prime it. Okay. Then you prime it. And this is the primer. I mean, yes. oh, you got that already. XIM. Okay. Okay. Stuff is great. Okay, excellent. So you prime it, then basically I look at whatever stone I'm matching mm -hmm. and I just kind of use like, you know, basic earth tones for stone. So this is a piece of uh, limestone or sandstone. So I take the colors. And I just kind of start basing Sorry, them out. Sorry, I just want to show, uh, hold this up to kind of give you an idea of what, what we're dealing with here. It's a pretty, I mean, just an unusual piece of stone, Gorgeous. stone. Gorgeous. This is it? going into a, a beautiful home in Sedona. Okay. So we get in there, instead of having those, I start basically after I prime it, I start blocking it out. So you basically found, looks like the lightest color as your yes, background. Yes, yes. Okay. I started, when here, you use acrylics, you can sit going. there and work from uh, dark to light. And so on that one, so I start basing it out. And mm -hmm. then once I start basing it out, I start blocking in the colors, like you're doing a little abstract painting, basically. Okay. And so people ask me, when you're in the house, I'm actually painting them right there on the wall. I tape them off. Yeah, you don't even have to tape. take them off, right? You don't take them off. Well, I think the reason why you do that is so important to see what kind of pattern. design you're working exactly with, right. right? So right. here's this, pretty much after you've based, you've primed it, you've put a base coat on it, now you started adding some new colors to yes. it, right? You've got this now one Now you start right here. shading it and giving okay. some details. Okay. And you All keep right. working it from general to specific. You block it out. You work it tighter, 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 tighter. Check this out, you guys. Oh my gosh. Wait until you see where this goes. You know, can you see yeah. right there? So it kind of be like that. Yeah. Check it out. That is so cool. All right, let's take a look at some before and after pictures. And this is just to kind of give you an idea because you can do all types of textures. And this right. is this is a pretty typical scenario. Right. Really, you spend all this money on your background, you know. Look at that. Can't even see them now. They're still there. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, you have building codes, and you have to have them basically like every three feet. This is a, a $2 million condo. They had seven outlets. I, the designer Look didn't even want to do it. I'll go, I'll do them for free. <laughs> yeah, because it bugs you more than it yeah. bugs everybody else, right? And that's Correct. so amazing. Let's take a look at, um, there's also, you can just, I mean, you do all types of things, not right. just the face plates. Right. But look at this. Here's a, another scenario. You end up getting those speakers Surround installed into stereo. that beautiful stone wall. You have Willie come in. Ta-da, they're still there, but you just can't see them. That client was mad because they thought they took his stereo system away. <laughs> and I go. Well, I'll tell you what. I have known Willie, well, well you know what we call you around here? Can Crazy. I just tell you? <laughs> we call him <laughs> Willie Walls because so. he's so amazing at what he does. He has a business. It's called Web Art Wall Finishes, Inc. All the phone number, uh, both phone numbers, 602-702-2867 or 480-513-6288. He also has a website, webartwallfinishesinc.com. And Correct. Willie will be back because Willie did all the faux finishing in our studio, and he's going to come back and do some more. So we'll be able to talk to him again. Thanks, Thank Willie. You're welcome.